saw this question in a group what happens when i pass my edd now look when you pass the doctor will give you like four to five days after that edd for them to decide for them to know if the labor will come on its own then if the labor refuses to come on its own they will have to retain you in the hospital it's either they induce you or they opt for c-section it depends on the doctor and it depends on the condition of the baby and the scenario that is on ground don't try to force yourself don't try to induce labor yourself you see this castor oil drinking or crow water seed and all that it works for some people perfectly fine but please do not try to do all these things if it is not recommended, prescribed, or instructed by the doctor. Ensure you do everything according to what your doctor or midwife said. The fact that you were given an EDD doesn't mean that it's the accurate date that you can be able to make and deliver your baby. That's why you see they always give you maybe at the beginning date of delivery that's why they will give you an edd at the beginning of the pregnancy give you maybe in the middle of the pregnancy and give you another one maybe according to the weight of your baby okay so all these things most of them don't call it out from the time that you told them that you saw your last period sometimes we women we are not even sure of the last time we saw our period especially when you are not trying to conceive like this my last baby i had her after the edd after the expected date of delivery they gave me at the hospital i had that like maybe that kind maybe five days after because after the edd they gave me maybe five days for them to know if the labor will come on its own and god being so kind my baby came like the day they retained me in the hospital in the night in the evening no induction nothing nothing and i was like why is it that the baby didn't even come all this way but only when i was just retained at the hospital besides if they want to induce you they will first of all tell you that they are going to induce you and this is what they are giving you for induction you understand so most times we don't know the exact date of the baby's arrival but it's just expected that's why it's called expected that you expected to give birth this or this date from this date to this day and if you are not able to deliver your baby labor is not able to come on its own within those days that means that they have to do something about it please and please i am repeating it again I've said it before and I've written it at a, as a, I've made a short video about it. Do not induce labor on your own. Work with your doctor, work with your midwife. Whatever they say, go through with it. Don't try to induce labor on its own because somebody said, I did this, it's working for me. I did this, it works for me. Try it. There's nothing like trying in pregnancy. Besides, you know how long you have been carrying this baby and nine months down the line um the baby is trying to come your body is always there to tell your baby yes it's time for you to come now it depends on the baby to come if the baby doesn't come the doctors will have to do something about it not you you are not the one to induce yourself you should let the doctors do what they think remember i always say i am not a doctor i am not a midwife everything i am saying is based on my experience okay guys Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!